Good morning, everyone. We had some requests for a day in the life of eating. So today I'm just going to show you everything I eat in a day. I'm starting out with my handy dandy bowl of oatmeal. I just make it with water the night before because if I made it with milk, I couldn't just leave it out. So I usually make it with water and banana and then sometimes berries if we have them. And then I also use almond butter. This is a breakfast I have been having for years. If you look back at when we first started YouTube, I had a day in the life of eating and I ate almost this exact same thing. So this is something I have almost every month morning. It sits really well in my stomach and I am actually going for a swim in about a half an hour. So it's something I know I can eat and go right away and work out. a super hard session but semi hard and so I'm gonna bring some fuel and so normally I do two scoops of scratch high carb and then I do one scoop of hydration this is a pretty standard mix that I use if I have a session that's, you know, under 90 minutes. I bring this to most swims and usually drink almost all of it. And on bike rides, sometimes they do a little more on bike rides. All right. Dream. Snack, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a kid classic. Look at little Georgie. What time is it? Almost nine. Just finished swim? Just finished swim, just having a little snack. Somebody's vacuuming. Yes, sorry for the noise. <laughs> Gotta keep the house clean, right? You wanna try a little? What do you think? Mmm mm, is right, yes, good. Pat, what makes this fish look good to you? Because sometimes you go to the store and you say fish doesn't look good. So why, how can you tell that this is a good cut of fish? I love the coloring of it. The skin looks great on the back. And so that means that you're going to love this fish for lunch. making lunch for Gwen. She's in an extra special mood today. Oh. And so it's very important that it's a nice lunch to try and get her out of this funk. Right? Yes. When's the last time you cooked me lunch though? It's been a, it's, it's been a little bit. So it should get me out of my funk. Google, set a timer for 12 minutes. Oh my gosh. Hey Google, stop. That's it. Just his. But that was him though, right? and I did a great job with the salmon and the dressing, but the, you're gonna just kind of have plain pasta with some olive oil on it. It's kind okay, of, what about salt? Well, you could put salt on there, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just saying like, that's gonna be that. And then I've got a side of Brussels sprouts. I mean, you haven't cooked me lunch in years, so I'm just happy I get lunch cooked for me today. Usually I just have leftovers from the night before. 
which is normally something like this. But today, pasta, but, but today you wanted to do a date, but we got it. We're doing this. So this is my this is my way of having a date with you. Yes. Even though you're not gonna eat with me. I'll eat with you. Oh. Boy. Gwen, are you counting how many calories, how many carbs are in this? Your proteins, no. your nothing, yeah, anything? We never count anything. We don't measure anything. I think people always want to know that info. And you did uh, one time. You like went out and counted all the calories. I think in a different video, like probably yep. what three or four years ago. Yep. It's a lot of work though, and we never measure. So this is more real life. Just make a plate, eat probably get a little more hungry, you eat a little bit more and... Well, no, it's so good. So you gotta go back to the seconds. Oh, it made me smile. <laughs> I think you put some on the pasta too. Some of this avocado. I don't know, yeah. We're gonna just yummy. go for it, there you go. Yeah, All right. that's how I want it. Perfect. All right. Thanks, babe. I like this recipe. So today was an easy day, and I did a swim. And then I just did, got back from a 10K easy run. I was averaging like five minutes per K, which is about eight minutes per mile. And I'm someone who, when I eat, I don't really change my eating based on what I'm training for the day. Uh, so yeah, today, um, usually for lunch, I try to have a, a big lunch and a big dinner, but I find that if I fuel earlier in the day, it really helps, especially when I have workouts later in the day. So I try to eat more of like, I would say people probably think this is more of a dinner type meal, but this is typically for lunch, I'll have rice or pasta. This is not a sponsor, but I, this is my favorite, absolute favorite chocolate, Lint 90. And I have like a square. It's not quite a square, but whatever I break off after almost every meal. And Pat has tried to buy me all different types of chocolate. And this is the only one I really like. He has bought me, I think, every chocolate on the earth, so this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. What do we do the next one? Yeah, next one. Mm -hmm. What else do you think is good to say in the eating? Look, he's getting a wide shot of everything in your office being a mess. Dude, now cut it out. Here, I'll do this. I'll just like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gwen. Back from a, what, PT? That's right, I just got back from PT and I'm starving. Pat says we don't have any food in the house, so. He made me a little snack though. Guac, chips, raspberries, I love raspberries. But they're not very filling. So I'm just having a little snack. I have a little lift later. That's about it. So you just kinda eat whenever you want. We really know like, Okay, I mean at this time, I'm eating this much. Just feel as you go. I think I used to be more particular about like when I eat and being like, okay, I eat lunch at this time, breakfast at this time. Now I just eat when I'm hungry. I'm often eating, I find I eat lunch pretty early. Like a lot of times I'll eat lunch at 10 or 11. Um, yeah, I just eat when I'm hungry, which yeah, I think it's a good way to listen to the body and. I probably have more of a hard time probably eating enough as opposed to eating too much. So for me, it's just about, yeah, when I'm hungry, eating calories. Yeah. Two more. Last two. Ready? Ready? A two. A three. Okay. Oh, mommy's arm's tired. I'm so good at repairing our CDs. Aren't, aren't I, Stanley? So that's my I my dad usually fixes the RC, and I drive. And am I good at fixing it? Pretty good, but when you start, you're like <laughs> down. Not as good as I am now. All right, for dinner tonight, I am requesting, this is probably the most requested meal of mine, don't you think? Yes. So this is ginger rice bowls, and I'm gonna have Pat act. Oh. oh no. So anyway, ginger rice bowls, it's my most requested recipe from Pat, and so 
I'm just gonna have Pat actually kind of walk everyone through the recipe because we're often asked for recipes and just be patient and kind to Patrick because he doesn't measure anything. So he's... this is about as real as it gets because it's 4.33 right now and I'm gonna make dinner. Yeah, this that's is, real life. It's real life for us. So we're gonna have dinner in an hour. Yep. I need an hour to make this. All right, I'll there's a lot of it. ingredients. There's gonna be a lot of steps, but I'll talk slow so everyone can follow along. Okay. Want to be let down. Have a good gym session. Okay. Is this mic live? Okay. <clears throat> so now we're gonna begin making dinner. And it's all about thinking about doing stuff. You want, you want multiple things going on because we're trying to make this as quick as possible. So the very first thing I do is I'm gonna start the rice is I'm just gonna dump the rice in. And that looks about correct. I would say that was roughly two cups of rice. And then for here, for the water, we're just gonna turn this on. And we just wanna rinse the rice one or two times. <clears throat> Let it roll off. Okay, and so now if you look in here, you can see like I've just got a nice little layer above that. So the rice is there and then just right above that is where the water line is. So now I'm going to do that and that'll take roughly 30 minutes. Hit white rice. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the ginger cashew sauce. So here for the ingredients, we've just got Bunch of cashews, liquid aminos, some limes, ginger, miso paste, and some garlic. And eventually this will all go in there. But for right now, what we wanna do, because the primary base of this sauce is cashews, so we're gonna dump in that many cashews. Again, I would say that's a solid cup of cashews. And what we'll do, is I've got water in the kettle here that's hot. And we're just gonna pour that in, cover it like that. And we're gonna let that sit now for 20 minutes just to soften up those cashews a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna saute some vegetables. So I've got some coconut oil for my pan here. So I'm gonna do a generous scoop of coconut oil onto the pan. We'll let that melt down. And then I'm gonna find my knife right here. And I'm gonna do half an onion. Pretty rough chop on this, because I wanna see the onions that I'm eating. That'll go in the pan. And then we're gonna do all these mushrooms as well. Mushrooms are really good for your bone health. So we eat a lot of mushrooms in this house. One last flick of those. Mushrooms in, now we have some time on that. I'm gonna cut this zucchini. Just keep you updated on the time, it's 4.59. I say we'll be eaten by, I don't know, 5.30ish. Tonight, we're doing prawns and scallops. Okay, last thing in here are the peppers. Now, this is the boring part. We're gonna shred some carrots. So, huge variety of vegetables in here. We got 
onion, mushroom, carrot, squash, pepper, cucumber, cabbage, spring onions. There's eight different vegetables. Um, so I like to just think there's a lot of natural vitamins and nutrients that we're gonna get from this one. Okay, I'm, I'm exhausted from shredding. Cut off the little sides of it so it goes back in the fridge and stays nice. You go see what else is in our fridge. We got milk, I mean we got bread, eggs, all the produce in here, in there, but Georgie likes his mac and cheese. Big thing of salsa, so cabbage, kimchi, pickles, and then all the condiments right there. Okay, we can shut the heat off on that, and then I'm going to rinse my cutting board, and we'll do the sauce. So, we're going to add to this, we're just going to do the rest of this miso paste. We're gonna do this ginger piece right here. And I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the ginger tonight. But you know, the nice thing about ginger is it helps with uh, inflammation. So we do a lot, of, a lot of meals with ginger. Okay, I'll just chuck that in there. Same thing with these limes. And I'll probably do, I'm gonna do three limes in the sauce. That much liquid aminos left. Just gonna dump the whole thing in there. This stuff is super salty, so you're gonna be hydrating. This will keep you hydrated. And then last but not least, do a little garlic in there. This is gonna be loud because we're gonna blend it for a long time. Perfect. Look at that texture. Oh, that's good. Scallops first. Okay. We're gonna do the scallops first. We need to get this pan nice and hot. So we're gonna let that heat up for a second. Yeah, Stanley! You got sharpened pencils? And we got some markers. Go ahead and get them. I love it. Yep, I'll be right back. We don't want to crowd the pan. We're gonna go 90 seconds on the first side. Hey Google, set the timer for 90 seconds. say earlier in the video you that were I was in a, in a mood they were in a mood uh -huh. we got that on camera mm -hmm. all right well that's good mm. they're probably gonna have some little dessert you're not oh. done you're not done eating no but and it's just for the reference it's 555 so a little later than you expected but yeah. I ran an errand yeah so okay. yeah can, can you tell fun. everyone to subscribe to mom's channel subscribe or I'll smash you <laughs> I just, I just want to thank Wild Alaskan Company uh, for the fish, and they sponsor me, but it's a great company. You guys should check them out. It, their fish is sustainable, and it ships directly to your door, and it's frozen fresh. If you want to check them out, you can use my code GWEN15.
for $30 off your okay. first box. $30 off? Isn't that amazing? Oh, Gotta finish with some chocolate. Got to. Sometimes Georgie, if he sees me, he'll get some, but he doesn't see this, right now. This was printed. That was, honey. 